Interim has been uh, a leader in the state of California in developing housing for homeless and for the mentally ill, and we're very proud to have them as partners in this activity. Uh, the consumers, the community, the collaboration that we have here in Monterey County is just uh, outstanding, and it's uh, there's some brilliance in the in the audience here and some brilliance in the front row. This project took three years to complete. It touched more than 100 people different agencies, organizations to put it all together. But I didn't know who I really was inside. I had an idea who I liked, what I liked, but I didn't know how to put it together in a lifestyle that made me comfortable with myself. She had a substance abuse problem as well as a, you know, was diagnosed with um, schizoaffective disorder at the time. And the choices and um, things that she were doing were going to kill her. My mental illness was really taking effect very hard. I mean, I wasn't sleeping for days or I wouldn't get out of bed for days. Um, I had extreme anger <laughs> issues, I mean, very, um, kind of scary. We have a client who had been in an institution and then went through our programs, and this person still really suffered quite acutely from mental illness, and he was hearing voices and they were so disturbing to him, he was banging his head against the wall a lot. We actually had to put foam rubber up on the walls of the apartment because it was so disturbing to other people. And at one point in time, I said to him, because he um, lived near my office, I said, what do you want in life? And he said, I want a job, I want a girlfriend, and I want a car. And I said, we're gonna help you get that. So just for him to be able to articulate, I want a job, I want a car, and I want a girlfriend. And today he has all of those things. I think that's a success. I checked into Manzanita, and uh, that was the beginning of my journey towards wellness. You know, not just my mental health, and not just my addiction issues, chemical dependency, but inside. You know, spiritually feeling better about myself and who I was and have some sort of um, goal and or dream for my future because at that time I didn't even have a dream, you know, but today I have dreams and I have goals. I'm proud of my life. I'm proud of my um, relationships with my family and my friends and my job that I have and it just came to a point where I actually care about my life now. To learn how to uh be comfortable with you and be happy with you and not being ashamed of because I like to listen to classical music, because I like to arrange flowers, or because I like to look at art, or I'd rather, there's a lot of things. But if, I, if it wasn't for the interim program, I'd probably say I'd either be in an institution or dead, truthfully. I did not choose to have a mental illness and I did not choose to have chemical dependency. But once I become aware of those two issues, it's my responsibility as an adult to take care of that. There's no cure for either one, but there is treatment. And the treatment is out there available. It's my responsibility to take that treatment and embrace it. We're not just warehousing people at interim. We really want people to achieve their goals in life. And for some people that may be employment, volunteer work, school, becoming an artist, something that makes them feel productive and happy. So housing is a big part of it, but it's not everything. Interim provides employment services, education services, wellness and recovery services for people so that they can find what is important to them in life. So I had a friend who worked at CSUMB. And she told me that they had a few openings because I had been asking her for the past four months 
And so I told her about um, my client. I told her about his energy and his desire to work. And um, she said, well, if you job coach him and he does well, and he passes his probationary period, we're, we will hire him and we will give him a raise after 90 days. So my client has worked at CSUMB for the past eight years. And every time I see him, Just recently he got his own apartment and he got a job and everything came together for him all at once and I feel that just the look in his eyes to see that that wow I've really have this this is believable it's people can do it it's possible has been just super rewarding for me. I think it's important that people understand the value of these services, not only how they help the individuals, but how they help the community. We also need a sound economic base so that when governmental funding fluctuates that we can keep our services going. And we need the support of the public when we go forward for new housing or buildings so that they can help to educate neighborhoods and people about how valuable that this is. You know, there is light at the tunnel, and the light has gotten brighter and brighter. And the interim has certainly been instrumental in all that, and I don't think I've been able to go, come as far as I have, both in my mental health, as well as uh, having control of my chemical dependency um, without interim's assistance. Uh, you know, the counselors at interim, they're just absolutely wonderful. If interim didn't develop the housing, a lot of people that we deal with would be homeless. And homelessness is not only harmful to the people who are homeless or the people who are in institutions, it's also harmful to the community. With interim's help and her hard work and our family's support, our family's whole again. And that you can't, there's no words to express how grateful I am for that, to have my daughter back because she could have died. If you want to say yes, say yes. And if you want to